Gathering the Bones, 2003, is an anthology that brings together 34 short horror stories from a variety of authors, including Jack Dan, Dennis Etchison, and Ramsey Campbell. The anthology covers a wide range of subjects, from supernatural battles to chilling ghost stories set in the trenches of World War I. Critics have commended the collection for its attempt to redefine the horror genre and push the boundaries of conventional tropes. Jack Dan is a highly acclaimed American editor, writing teacher, and science fiction writer, while Dennis Etchison was known for his work as a horror and fantasy editor and novelist. Ramsey Campbell, on the other hand, has authored over 30 novels and numerous short stories, establishing himself as a prominent figure in the genre. One of the standout stories in the anthology is The Hanged Man of Oz by Steve Nagy. The narrative revolves around Michael and his neighbor Denise, with Michael mustering the courage to ask Denise out, fearing rejection. They decide to watch The Wizard of Oz together, and Denise tells him eerie stories during the film. However, after the date, Michael's obsession with the movie characters intensifies. He starts seeing them in his dreams and becomes convinced that they harbor ill intentions towards him. Denise tries to reassure him, urging him to recognize that it's just a story and his imagination is getting the best of him. Nevertheless, the characters gradually erode Michael's sense of self, reducing him to a mere shadow of his former identity. The Hanged Man of Oz serves as an exemplar of psychological horror. Another psychological horror story featured in the collection is Sounds Like by Mike O'Driscoll. This narrative focuses on a single character, Larry, and his gradual descent into mental deterioration. Larry works as a call center monitor, and his life takes a tragic turn when his child passes away. Struggling to cope with grief, he becomes increasingly obsessed with his work, using it as a distraction. When he loses his wife shortly afterward, work becomes an all-consuming fixation for Larry. He becomes unable to concentrate on anything except the sound waves that surround him. Overall, Gathering the Bones offers a diverse and thought-provoking selection of horror stories, exploring psychological themes and pushing the boundaries of the genre. Larry's heightened sense of hearing plunges him into a nightmarish state where he perceives imaginary sounds, including the slightest movements of his own body. He becomes fixated on hearing the voices of his loved ones through the radio, longing for their presence. Gradually, Larry begins to believe that he can actually hear them, but this delusion only exacerbates his mental decline, eventually leading to the loss of his ability to hear altogether. While Gathering the Bones features several stories that received mixed critical reviews, one particular tale, Lil Miss Ultrasound by Robert Devereaux, stirs controversy as it satirizes society's obsession with sexual objectification. Set in the future, the story revolves around a beauty pageant for unborn fetuses. Expectant mothers airbrush their ultrasound images, and a global competition ensues to determine the most attractive fetuses. The winners of the contest have their entire lives planned out before they are even born. However, Lil Miss Ultrasound goes beyond mere aesthetics. The mothers and their doctors sexualize the fetuses, dressing them in adult clothing and applying cosmetics. They pose in highly provocative ways, with the most daring mother standing a chance of claiming victory. Throughout the narrative, these women and their pageant managers are willing to do whatever it takes to win, even if it transforms them into monstrous figures. A few stories in the anthology focus on creating a distinct sense of time and place, immersing readers in an atmosphere of unease. An example of this technique can be found in No Man's Land by Chris Lawson and Simon Brown. Set in the trenches of World War I, the story unfolds as soldiers gather in complete darkness, sharing chilling tales. With no light or campfire to guide them, they recount stories of wandering ghosts in no man's land, spirits that feast on the fallen. Gathering the Bones offers a variety of stories that explore the boundaries of horror, delving into psychological torment, societal critiques, and evocative settings that unsettle readers. The soldiers are haunted by the relentless ghosts in no man's land, indifferent to which side of the war they belong. These spectral beings have a singular appetite for devouring human souls, striking fear into the hearts of the soldiers and fueling their determination to survive. However, one soldier becomes overwhelmed by the mounting tension. The boundaries between fiction and reality blur for him, and he embarks on a perilous journey into no man's land, driven to confront the ghosts head-on. Surprisingly, stepping into the treacherous territory grants him a newfound sense of control over his imagination, 
allowing him to conquer his fear of the otherworldly apparitions. Yet, what he encounters in this dark reality of no man's land surpasses the terror of any campfire tale. Within the anthology, some stories pay homage to classic literary works, drawing inspiration from the past. In Lisa Turtle's The Mezzotint, the narrative serves as a contemporary retelling of M.R. James's earlier work of the same name. Turtle skillfully modernizes James's concept, catering to the sensibilities of today's readers. Similarly, The Intervention by Kim Newman reimagines Franz Kafka's philosophical tale, The Trial. Both Newman and Kafka explore the plight of characters ensnared by their circumstances, descending into states of paranoia and delusion. Gathering the Bones offers a diverse collection of horror stories that traverse various themes, from the haunting horrors of war-torn landscapes to reimagined classics, captivating readers with their inventive narratives and chilling atmospheres. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.